It's just like this tiny sea creature that pops its head up from underwater and just says, Hello, I'm here as well. Want to play? Heck yeah, Rainbow Machine, I want to play. Hey everybody and welcome to the Pedal Zone and welcome to another edition of Total Teamwork where I want to take you on a quick sonic exploration of the Earthquaker Devices Rainbow Machine. You know, the Earthquaker Devices Rainbow Machine stands as a truly iconic piece in, uh, in effects pedal history due to it just being so freaking weird for the sake of being weird. Whenever somebody says the word Rainbow Machine, probably the first sound that goes through your head is this. <laughs> now that is so freaking awesome and I love that sound just because it is so incredibly weird and I, I honestly would have no clue how to use that one musically. Uh, other than uh, as a weird special effect for an opening sequence. But people often forget that the Rainbow Machine is actually housing one of the most beautiful chorus tones ever made. And when you begin to co combine that with the regeneration of the magic, you get the most alive, swelling uh, chorus sound ever. And that's what I want to show you guys how to achieve today. Because that one can be hyper-musical and so much fun to integrate into uh, your compositions. So the way to get there is via the pitch knob, which right now is, is maxed for this weird rainbow sound that we all know and uh, either love or hate. But if we begin to move the pitch knob closer to the center, we will begin to enter uh, chorus land. So now we have like a heavily detuned chorus. Now you can hear it's, it's fully centered now. It has a chorus feel, but it's just not wide enough. So it's all about finding that perfect point just off center. That's it, people. A stunning chorus sound. Now what I like to do is add a bit more openness to that sound by upping the tracking a bit. It uh, introduces some pre-delay. But the thing about the delay in the Rainbow Machine is that it actually changes uh, the time automatically. So if I place it around here where I really like it, you can actually hear the, the time slowly changing. And that's one of the aspects that really help introduce this liveliness into the, to, into the chorus and the, the regenerated sound that we're going to make via the magic knob. Now the magic is where the magic happens. It introduces feedback into the signal. And most people are probably used to having it maxed. That's where you see it for all the weirdness. And it would do... That, yeah, a highly exaggerated crazy sound that 
would probably scare off your audience pretty damn quick. So where I like to use it is before it begins to self-oscillate, which is right below noon, and you sort of get this dancing uh, pitch regeneration that just it pops its it pops its head out, but then it it falls back in line again, so it becomes way more usable and way more musical. So let me show you. So it just kind of swells in and, and you know accent, accentuates certain phrases, and I really like that. Now on its own, it might be a bit too dramatic and a bit too metallic, but when you begin to introduce some ambience from uh, from my friends down here, the Solid Gold Electroman Mark II and the Marius Mercury Seven, you suddenly hear the Rainbow Machine turn into this beautiful swelling sea creature, and it it all just makes perfectly sense musically all of a sudden. So let's try and introduce those. We'll start out with the Electroman, which is just a nice analog voice delay. On its own it sounds a bit like this. And then we can introduce the Mercury 7 for some deeper interstellar amb ambience, and it sounds a bit like this. And now let's introduce the Rainbow Machine and its beautiful swelling sea creature like chorus tones. And it sounds a bit like this. That was all for me today, lovely pedal people. I hope you enjoyed the sounds, and if you have your own rainbow machine at home, I hope you want to go home and try and make your own deep sea sea creature sounds as well. So yeah, thank you for watching, thank you for being awesome. Until next time, bye.